everyone, how's it going? So in case you're just joining us, hi, my name is Atusa, I'm a third year medical student and I'm making a video every day in the month of November. Now, the topic of today's video is going to be how to choose your modules for biomedical science. Now, in case you guys aren't familiar with my story, prior to starting graduate entry medicine, I studied biomedical science as my first degree in Newcastle University back in 2012 to 2015. And I know that a lot of you guys watching this are either doing biomedical science now or you're hoping to go and study it. So I have gotten a number of questions from you guys all about how to pick your modules. Typically the way that a biomedical science course works, although I know that it kind of differs between different universities, but a general pattern seems to be that in the first year you tend to have modules that are core and that you can't change them. And these modules are typically the, the foundational type of modules, so everything that is going to be building up your basic understanding before you can then go on to specialise in the later years. So I think when I was studying my course, some of the fundamental basic modules that we all shared in the first years were things like physiology, cell biology, genetics, microbiology, a bit of pharmacology and a bit of microbiology. And I think there were a couple of other modules like that that we had to do. But then in the next years, that's when we got to pick which modules we would like to take and which ones we would like to continue. And I will share with you the modules that I personally picked in a moment before giving you guys some of my tips on how you can go about choosing yours. But firstly, I do want to say that I think different universities differ in terms of what modules they offer and how many modules they offer. So at the time when I was studying at Newcastle, I don't think the selection was that big. Off the top of my head now, I don't think there were more than maybe 15 to 20 modules that you could choose from. However, when I started working at King's, I was speaking to a couple of the lecturers who were saying that at King's, the number of modules that you can pick are just so many, which is obviously a great thing, but then it can also make it difficult for anybody who's studying biomedical science at King's College to narrow down their choices. So bear that in mind, depending on the university you're at, there may be different modules and the different number of modules. Okay, but that said, let's get into a number of things that I think you should consider before choosing your modules, or that will help you choose your modules. So the first thing to consider, and this is generally my standard thing to consider with many decisions, is what do you enjoy? I think starting with joy is always a good place to start. I know it can be tempting sometimes to logic yourself out of choosing something that you actually enjoy. For example, thinking, well, I really enjoyed this module, but I think this one is going to help me more. I would typically say that as long as the option you enjoy is a feasible one, it's always a good place to start because typically the topics that we tend to enjoy more are the ones that we tend to put more into and that we tend to work harder for. And if your overall outcome is to get the highest grades, to come out with a high scoring degree, Degree, then I would say try and pick the subjects that you enjoy because they're the ones that whether you are consciously or conscious like unconsciously aware of it you will want to spend more time on them just because you find them more fun. That's a super basic concept to consider but I think it goes a long way so it's worth mentioning. The second thing I would say is to pay attention to the kind of things that you feel naturally drawn towards and the reason why I say this is because one of the modules that I personally picked was cancer biology. Now this was a new subject so we didn't have that much experience with cancer biology in the previous years and it wasn't necessarily something that I knew a lot about. However, for reasons I can't really explain, I just felt this natural gravity towards it. It was something that I wanted to know more about. And maybe as I'm speaking these words now, a couple of those are going to pop into your mind. Maybe for you it's genetics. A part of you might be saying, well, oh, I don't know about if I should take genetics because genetics is hard or this, this or this reason why I shouldn't take it. But if you feel like you feel this natural gravitation towards it, I would say that might be something to consider. And in fact, here is a fun little question for you to answer either for yourself or in the comments below. As I said that, did any topics come to mind? Did any modules come to mind? If so, make a note of them. The third thing that I would encourage you guys to consider is to have a really good look into and get a good understanding of what each module consists of in terms of examination, in terms of structure and basically what it asks from you. 
think depending on the module you may have different assignments and different projects and maybe some modules will have exams while other modules may have I guess presentations and it's good to have a good idea of which sort of assessment you're going to be given and that in itself may be something that may guide which uh, which module you end up choosing versus the other and I can see that my camera battery is flashing so just bear with me one moment okay and we're back so the next point is going to be a little bit contrary to some of the earlier points that I've made but depending on your personality and depending on how you think maybe this is also something that would be important for you to consider and that is the difficulty level of the module the reason why I say this is because some people prefer to take more of a strategic option when it comes to picking their modules and what I mean by that is that let's say in their mind they have it that they absolutely want to get a first and because they have this in mind they may care less about the content of the modules and a bit more about the modules that will give them the best opportunity to perform. Now obviously that will differ between different individuals, however there may be some modules that are considered easier or for example their method of assessment may be considered easier compared to other modules. For example if you're somebody who's watching this and you may think to yourself well I'm not really that interested in specific modules, I just want to get a first because because I think with a first I'll be able to apply to masters or apply to medicine. If that may apply to you then perhaps you can be a little bit more strategic with your module options and look into the difficulty, look into your strengths and look into what you think you will perform the best at and based on that choose your modules appropriately. Although I do have to say that whether you find something challenging or not is very very dependent on your own performance and only you can be a judge of what you think is challenging for you and what you think is something that you will be able to more easily excel at. But it's worth considering anyway. The next thing to consider and I should preface this by saying that this shouldn't be as much of a big factor in why you choose certain modules but it may still be worth considering and that that is who is going to be teaching these modules. For example, you might know that there is a particular lecturer or professor who is very involved with their module, who is very good at teaching, who is very available to give students help and feedback and support and for that reason you might choose that module. Whereas if you think certain modules are going to be taught by individuals who may not be able to give you as much time or as much support, then again that could be something that you take into consideration. Although as I said, I wouldn't weigh this option as highly as I would with some of the other points in this video. Then the next point that I would encourage you guys to consider, and this is something that I personally find quite important, is the application of the modules you choose outside of the degree itself. And what I mean by this is sometimes as well as specific topics, so for example aside from genetics or physiology or microbiology, you get to pick certain topics such as research and development or science communication or business and science. And we had an option to take a couple of those modules as well. And I think I picked the research and development, development one because I was interested in research and I wanted to pick up some key skills that I could apply outside of my degree, which I actually did during my masters. But for example, let's say that you are interested in how you can apply biomedical science or just science in general within the context of business or within the context of science communication. I would think about picking modules that are re relevant to that as that will give you a application outside of just passing a module and getting a mark. And I guess the same thing goes with any of the other modules you pick that are topic based. Let's say that you are interested in pursuing a master's or a PhD in microbiology, then you may be more inclined to pick modules that are a bit more on that microbiology level. And last but not least, if you've gotten to this part of the video and you're still confused, you're still not sure which modules to pick, then my best suggestion to you would be to pick something that you're curious about. You may not be completely dedicated to it, you may not be completely set on pursuing it in the future, but you have some sort of general curiosity and that you want to find out more. In a way it's kind of good when you're not set on a particular path or set on a particular idea because it just means that you're more open to exploring and to trying out new things. So worst comes to worst you can just pick a number of modules that you think well 
you know, I'm just going to see how it goes. It might be something I end up enjoying a lot, it might not be, but I'm open to it nevertheless. And so those are all of my suggestions for how I think you can go about picking the right biomedical science modules for you. As always, if I've missed anything out, I would love to hear your thoughts below about what modules you chose and how you went about choosing your modules. Alternatively, you can share with me any modules that you're considering or are interested in. So I will leave it there, my lovelies, and I will see you in tomorrow's video.